What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Mordai J and we are locked in. You seen the thumbnail. Kane and Mecca, they're playing to befriend Braden because we got to get Tariq up out the way. We're trying to make some major moves in this organization, especially with Kane trying to become a big dog. But first, shout out to the notification gang. If you're new to the channel, you're going to be a part of it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Hit that like button. It's the easiest thing you can do. Now, we're going to break down how this plan is coming together and what's the significance of it. Plus, how will it play out if Brayden jumps ship? So let's jump into it. Kane befriending Brayden. As of right now, we know Kane, he's been dealing strongly with Mecca. And this is because he had to finesse his mom, take the bricks, bring it to Mecca, and now he's trying to resell them back. Mecca's thing is, he knows that Kane is out here. He wants Kane to start trusting him. And the reason he's doing this is because Kane seems like he would be more loyal to him than he is to his actual family. And the reason for that is because Monet, you see how she treats all of her kids. So Kane, he's been around Mecca. He's trying to make a name for himself and move on up. What Mecca wants to know is, why aren't you the one moving this work for your mom? And that's because Tariq has it. The block is hot, Ramirez is dead, so they have to give the work to Tariq for him to move through the school. Now, Kane, he doesn't give up Tariq's name at first. He just says it's Tariq, and he doesn't give Mecca any information. But what Mecca does is pressure him and says, hey, look, if you're gonna work with me, I gotta be able to trust you. If not, you can go ahead and leave out the door. So he's applying pressure to Kane, and Kane knows he needs Mecca because this is a, hey, this is the plug. This is who I'm gonna be getting work from. So I'm gonna have to, you know, at least build some kind of trust. We know how the dope game is. You really can't trust anybody. The person that you think that you can trust is usually the one that's gonna do something bad to you. We already seen how Mecca is. Plus he has that chef that I broke down also. The only thing, Tariq is semi-protected by Monet. This is where all of her money is coming from and it's discreet. You know, they got the course correct. We got it going through the school. No one's really having hand-on-hand -hand transactions. Mecca needs to find a way to get Tariq out of that position so we can put Kane in that place and we can get it back on the streets. So his plan is to attack Tariq where he's the weakest at. We know Kane met up with Brayden and Tariq to do their little exchange. And he sees how loyal Brayden is to Tariq, but at the same time, he's trying to tell Brayden, hey, look, you can come get some money out here in the streets with me. So Mecca's plan is to get Kane to befriend Brayden, show him the street life, bring him in because that's Tariq's weakness. And the reason it's Tariq's weakness, Tariq, he's not doing any of the transactions or anything. He's running back and forth, taking care of himself. Brayden is picking up the drops. Brayden is going to Effie. He's supplying everybody with the work. So if Kane can get Brayden to be cool and ride with him, he can start giving him that influence. And how does this work? Kane starts to get up under Brayden's skin and tells him, hey, Tariq is your boss. You're doing a good job. Braden, we know he wants to be 50-50. We know he wants to be in the streets and make this work happen. Tariq doesn't want that because that's dangerous and that can get them in trouble. So how Kane starts to bring Braden in, oh, y'all need some money? 30,000? Y'all 8,000 short? That's chump change. So he starts to give them money. And you see this all the time with kids that are less fortunate. I mean, I'm just using the comparison. We know Braden has money. But when people are less fortunate, they get kind of screwed over in contract because they're doing anything they can to get money. In this case for Braden, it's the thrill of the streets. Kane is giving him money like, hey, $8,000, that's chump change. We can get that in the night. You come and roll with me. So now he has Braden thinking, uh-oh, this life is about to be a little bit funner than what we're doing up at the school. And also, if he stays around Kane long enough, I think he's going to be able to meet Mecca. And now you're meeting Kane and you're meeting the top, the kingpin. So this right here would be a good look for Brayden. Kane comes through with the money. He actually gives Brayden a little more than the 8,000, so probably about 10 to $15,000. And not only does he show up with money, he shows up with girls and he's showing Brayden, you messing with Tariq, you ain't doing none of this. Tariq has Effie, Lauren, Diana. What you got Brayden? Riley's gone. If you start rolling with Kane, we can get some money, you can get some girls, and this life is a little bit better. So this is how they're trying to get Brayden up on the team. All right, let me know what you think is gonna happen with this plan from Mecca and Kane to befriend Brayden. How long do you think it's gonna last before Brayden either notices that something is wrong or Tariq tells him, hey, look, this isn't something we need to be in because we all know Brayden is about that life, or at least he wants to be. But hey, 
That's me breaking down this plan. Also tune in Sunday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern for the Power Book 2 after show discussion. It's just the open forum. I'm going live. You guys come in, we talk theories. We talk about the characters. It's a fun time. I'm Modi J. If you like the content on the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on the beat, boy.